everybody, welcome to the Maker Chair. Today I'm doing a One Tree Hill inspired look. This is from Sophia Bush. So I really hope that you enjoy this. Very easy, soft, smoky eye, something that's very wearable, but something that can be changed from day to night. So it's kind of like really, really easy to work with. If you want to see how I did my foundation routine, you can check the link here that's going to come up. I have a few different foundation routines, but I want to film one with my new camera, so this is where you are going to find it. So I really hope you enjoy this and just keep watching. Start off with our first dark shade, and it's a kind of a cool dark brown. I'm going to take this onto a flat brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off right at the lashes and just kind of work my way up. So as you can see I'm kind of placing it at the lash line and then I'm just working up into the rest of the lid. So it's kind of a simple wash of the dark shade over the whole lid but we start off at the base so it looks, looks a bit darker there. Again I'm going to start at the base and then I'm going to work it up. And I'm actually going to work this in the outer part of the eye first. And then just blend it across. This is the easiest way of doing smoky eye like with one shade. But I'm leaving that inner part clear because we're going to put a little bit of highlight as you can see. We just put a little bit of highlight in the inner part. Take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out. See that outer part there? I'm just going to blend that out. And you also don't want to come out too far out here, so like I say in most of my videos, put your brush alongside the edge of your nose and the corner of your eye and everything that's down here should be clear. So this comes down a little bit too far, so you want to just blend it back in again. Now I'm going to go back in with that same flat brush that we started off with, and with the same colour we're going to work it right underneath. Now you can use whatever colour that you want to, provided it's some way of a dark brush color. You could use a dark green, you could use a purple, any color that you wanted. And I'm just working this right underneath the eye. I'm going to stop just short of the lashes. So I'm going to stop right here. So your lashes naturally stop about there. So you're just in a little bit. And this is just going to make the eyes um, look a little bit more awake because we're going to add some highlight in the inner part here. Just get right up to the lashes as close as you possibly can to the top of the lashes. And on the outer part of the eye, you can actually blend it down a little bit further than you normally would. But as you come to the inner part, you want to keep it right up close. I like to put a little bit extra just on the outer part of the eye, just to give it a little bit more definition. And you can afford to go a little bit dark on the outer part. It's going to make your lashes look thicker as well. And I'm going to use my light shade, and this is what it looks like. It's like a pearl essence kind of creamy colour. We're just going to place this on the inner part of the eye like so. And I'm just going to blend it slightly in over that brown. And then I'm going to go back in again with the dark shade again and just keep working it back and forth till I get kind of the way that I want it to be. Because I want it to be bright but I don't want it to be too intense so it's kind of nice and subtle. Do the same on the top part as well. Just on that inner part of the lid. And then blend it across. And then if I feel like it's too dark, I just go back over with the other one. It's pretty much clean, but it's a little bit of a dark shadow on there. But I'm not re-dipping or anything like that. Just using whatever's left over on the brush. my eyelashes. Now I'm going to add my really good mascara. I love this mascara. I've been talking about this a few times. This is the One by One um, Volume Express Waterproof. I have the waterproof one because it really holds a good I don't curl. know if you can see how well this actually separates the lashes. It's amazing. I love this mascara. On the rest of the face, I'm just going to keep it kind of peachy. I'm going to be using Cor Coral Rose by Rimmel. I'm going to take this onto a little brush and just going to brush it very gently over the cheeks. And then just work it up. Just very kind of subtle. Bring a little bit of life to the face. The face, all I've done is used um, Fragile Pink by NYC. And it's a beautiful kind of corally colour because she kind of has like a coral look throughout this. It's like the coral cheeks and the coral lips. But everything's very kind of subtle, so I like this because it's like fragile pink. But that is a finished look. It was that simple to do it. So this is kind of a very wearable smoky eye. You could wear this to work. You could wear this out if you wanted to as well. Everything else is very kind of blended and soft, and it's just very easy kind of look to do. So I really hope you enjoy this. I'm a big fan of Sophia Bush. I think she's amazing. I think she's such a sweet person. So I really hope that you like this. I'm Shay Katie. Um, if you want to see how I did my foundation and stuff, you can check the link here again. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!